Good morning, I'm Dr. Kemi Lawyer. I am doing this video for people that follow me on my largest page, facebook.com slash Kemi Lawyer, which is known as Kemi Talks. The page is 11 years old. It was the first to be verified in Nigeria and I was the first Nigerian to go live on Facebook because when that happened, only verified accounts could go live. And that was Facebook mentioned. So it's a historical page on its own. Overnight, I have about 3,000 followers, new followers. And many of them came from that TikTok video I made about Sissy Caudry. I want to put some rules down because I have rules on my pages. And if you're watching this from Facebook, be aware of the rules. Beginning today, you have to like or follow the page. You can't visit the page because I want to reduce spam, trolls, and other non-entities. So make sure you click like or follow. That way you can get my updates. You can also click your notifications to know when I post. Established followers is the mode where I have picked. So if you're not established, you can still look at the page, but you can't comment. The second thing is stop calling me anti Kemi. I'm not anti Kemi. That's my work platform. I retired from journalism after three decades, three decades, that's 30 years. So please respect that and celebrate that. All right. That is still my work platform. I'm still a blogger. I'm still a pharmacist. I'm still a PR specialist. I also run a school on Twitter, 2222 Media School. That's 2222 Media Institute. I teach content creation, blogging, monetization, and different courses there. In that school, two people called me anti Kemi in the classroom and I expelled them. The certificate courses they were taking were 150,000 Naira each. This was in 2022. 300,000 Naira, I did not refund them. They called their lawyers, the lawyers spoke to me and I told them the rules, zero tolerance. Don't go to classroom and call your teacher, uncle or auntie. You don't do it in your schools, in your colleges. Don't do it in my school. Get used to calling people what they want to be called, all right? I'm not Sister Kemi, I am not my brother or sister. I'm not Auntie Kemi, you know, and if you're a niece and I'm not Mommy Kemi, that's reserved for my children. So let's just get that together now, okay? So I'm not going to repeat that. Zero tolerance means if I see Auntie Kemi in the comments, you just wouldn't see my page again. That means I've blocked you. You wouldn't even know what killed you. Now, the next thing. I am a pharmacist and a health educator of 35 years. I have a lot of pride in going to the oldest pharmacy school in North America, the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy. I graduated in May of 1989, official graduation, but I finished school there September of 88. So when you look at even that May of 89, that's on my diploma, that's 35 years this May. Do not disrespect that. When I'm educating people, especially on my women's page, Kemi Fight Africa on Facebook, do not, I repeat, do not educate people on top of me. I am the pharmacist, I'm the health educator, I'm everything on that page, even the doctor on that page, all right? Because once you give out false information or wrong information to my followers, it can cause a problem. And the problem can be deadly. A lot of you do this stuff. When I say, oh, ginger and lemon are very good antibiotics, make sure you put it in hot water and drink it. Somebody in the comments will say, yeah, you can also use something else to add to it. I did not ask you. Don't do the education. Everybody following me on that page, I don't know what medications they're on. I don't know what their doctors are giving them. You have to be careful. So let me be the health educator, okay? I'll give you an example that almost got deadly. Last week, we we're talking about my trip to Ghana in 2023. We were talking about how the Ghanaians don't cook with thyme, but they cook with rosemary. Rosemary is this little herb that's sharp and is very good for meats, especially beef. At the end of the day, somebody asked in the comments, what is rosemary called in Yoruba? And another person commented, ifiri. Now that was wrong and can be very deadly. Ephirin is not rosemary. Ephirin is another plant, okay, that, first of all, I don't know what rosemary is called in Yoruba, and I don't even know what ephirin is called in English, but it's an anticoagulant. That, must I, that much I knew. An anticoagulant stops blood clotting. 
And if you don't know what somebody's taking for blood pressure or heart medicines, and you go and give them a blood anticoagulant, you can kill them. You need to know. I need everybody to Google Coumadin, C-O-U-M-A-D-I-N. Coumadin is an anticoagulant that we use a lot in America in pharmacy. And find out what Coumadin does. Find out the side effects. Find out the drug interactions. You don't tell somebody that aphirin and rosemary are the same. You don't tell them to use it to cook a four when you don't know what medications they're on. One thing I know they use aphirin for a lot. We have it in the back of our house in Ibadan. If you have a cut, somebody cuts their hand. Those uh, gardeners in our compound that will be cutting grass and all that, somebody cut their hands with a cutlass or even cooking in the kitchen, they'll say, oh, go back there and get some aphirin. They'll bring the leaf and they start rubbing it together like bits of leaf into the you know cut and it stops the bleeding right away. That's what it's used for. But when you go to give people aphirin and you don't know what they're taking and the blood goes clotting in their heart or something and you kill them, <laughs> that's a drug-food interaction or food-food interaction. You need to know these things, okay? When blood clots in parts of your body, it could be very deadly, like in the leg, DVT, deep vein thrombosis. I lost a colleague from that when we went to Iraq in 2003. David Bloom, NBC News. David had a blood clot and he moved straight to his lungs. He traveled from his legs to his lungs and he died. So please, I am the health educator on my page. I didn't ask you. The next thing I want to talk about is when you're on my page and you need to ask a question, I don't comment. I'm never in the comments because I'm no longer in journalism. I don't have time to engage comments. You need to email me and set an appointment. I have paid consultation only. I don't advertise on my page, okay? I only do brand content tagging. Brand content tagging is different from advertisement. I don't advertise people's products and I don't influence anybody's products. If you want brand content tagging, it means that I like your product, I genuinely like your product and I'll tag myself to it and we'll do something together. So that's it. There are 663,000 people following that page and the reach is almost 5 million. So that's like saying 5 million people comes to that page. So people, it's very, very important to follow my rules. Thank you so much for visiting Facebook Kemi Talks. Kemi Talks on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok. Make sure you're following all three pages. Those are the only places I am. My Twitter, I can be a little lawyer. Notice I said Twitter and not X, two different things. You can also follow that if you're an X, but I would not be posting a whole lot over there. The monetization is very poor. The way they're paying Africans is different from the Americans. Now, I don't even bother myself. People over there insult you, you post something, you're getting 10, $15 at the end of the month. That's not my thing. Um, on August 19th, don't ask me about the date. I'm just going to be leaving X. I'm downloading all my stuff now. It's a lot, just like I did on Instagram. Downloaded all my stuff and got rid of all those apps. They're not, those apps are not going to be around in 10 years. I can tell you that. We're all on my space. Where's my space now? So at the end of the day, that's my message to you. Please enjoy the page. Facebook is my office. I notice a lot of bloggers are quoting me from there. That's where you need to be. If you want to know what I said or what I didn't say or my opinion or something. What I'm doing there is called digital content creation. Okay. And I'm going to start talking about Potaka Prison and my journey through that very soon. So make sure you follow the page. Thank you. Have a great week. Oh, yeah. Finally, um, Facebook.com, Kemified Africa is my women's page. And Facebook.com, Yoruba English is my Yoruba page. I'm just starting on that. I'm going to be giving Yoruba content because it looks like my Yoruba videos are the most paying and the most viral. So please, if you're non-speaking, get a translator. There's nothing much I can do about that. You know, it's where my money is that I'm going. I make more money making Yoruba content. So I'm going to be doing Yoruba English and other things over there on Facebook. Thank you.